Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one. Folks, this quick video today is going to show you how to use the set icon LED to turn off these three icons down below on your screen. You've got these three icons. If you're using a graphite HMI, you've got these three icons down below, and there might be certain instances where you'd like to control turning them on and off versus their default state. So first of all, let me show you the function that's available to do this. You're going to find that over in the lower right-hand side corner of Crimson in the section called System. And I believe uh, if you open up the Functions tree, expand the Functions category. And I think if you go into, I believe it's the System category, you're going to find a function over here on the left hand or right-hand side called Set Icon LED. If you right-click on that, you can always do the Show Help Info and that will open up the help guide for that particular uh, topic and you're going to notice that uh, the icon leds are named one two and three for alarm orb and home button and zero and one is the on off and it even shows you an example down below here of how it will show up so let's say in this example that uh i'd like to have three buttons on here that when i push the red button i turn on this light if i turn on hit push the blue button i turn on this one and if I push the green one, I turn on the home button. Since these are going to be just on off signals, I'm going to create three flag tags. So I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, or sorry, left hand side, click data tags on the left hand side. Oh, I was already playing with this, so let me go ahead and delete these so we start over new. So here I am, I've got data tags, and if I hit the little pull down button right here, I can create what's called a flag tag here. I want to create a flag tag because remember, in the Crimson world, anything that's a bit on off signal will be a flag tag. So I'm going to go ahead and create a flag tag and I'm going to go ahead and call this one red because that's in the order that they're on the screen. And on the red tag, anytime it goes on, I want to turn the red LED on. Anytime it goes, on, goes off, I want to turn it off. So if I go over here to the triggers tab, and on the triggers tab down here where it says trigger mode disabled, I can hit the pull down and choose active on. And then anytime it goes on, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side. And I'm just going to grab the set icon LED like so. I'll drag and drop that guy up here like this. And I want to change two parameters. I need to change the zero there to a one. And then also this zero here, which is the off state to a one to turn it on. Down here for trigger two, I'll do just the opposite. I'll say active off. Once again, I'll drag this, this function over here like so, right here. And this time I'll just say the first one will be a, I'll turn zero to one there, and I'll leave the other one to a zero, which would indicate turning it off. So now that I've done that, I'll go over here, and the easiest way to copy and duplicate this is to click on the tag over here on the left-hand side, and hit this button right here called Smart Duplicate. Boom, boom. And I'm going to do it two more times. So this one here is going to be the blue. So I'll just change the name of this guy to blue. And I'll change this one here to green because that's kind of the order they're on the display. If I go back to the blue one, I need to change the index number here to be number two. So where there's a one, I'll change that to a number two. Pointer here. So that there. I'm going to change that number there to a, from a 1 to a 2. And then if I click on the green one, I'm going to change that number from a 1 to a 3. So that's the third icon on the screen. So here on the green one, again, I'm just changing that number there to a 3. All right, so there's that. Now if I go to Display Pages, uh, I'm going to put these on the screen. So I'm going to go over here to the right-hand side, go to Primitives. In the Primitives, I'm going to be in the Core Primitives all the way on top. Go down here to bevel button and I'm just going to grab the red one out here like this. I'll make this guy a little bigger. Place it down right here. I'll right click and go to properties. On the text tab, I'm just going to change the wording to be red. Uh, I might change the font to be white. That way it contrasts a little better. And I might make it a little bigger like so. Now one thing I always teach about bevel buttons I think is pretty uh, cool is I like to go to the More tab. And on the More tab, right here where it says Direction, I always like to hit the pull down here and choose down to the right. That gives it a little more 3D movement. And then the action when the operator pushes this button, just for this testing, if I go to the Action tab here, 
I'm gonna hit the pole down here and I'm gonna choose push button. So when they push the button, I want it to turn on the red flag, which should turn on the red LED or icon LED. And then when I turn it off, it should turn it off. So when I go to the action, hit the pole down here and choose push button. Right here is where I need to define the tag. So over here on the right hand side, I'm just gonna grab the red tag right here and drag and drop that guy right here in this field right here. So watch, I'll just go ahead like this. Boom, like so. And that will assign it to the red tag to go on and off. So if I click the OK button here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll grab another one for the blue. I'll slide it out here like this. I'll say right click, same size as this guy right here. And then on this one, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll go to properties, go to the text tab, change the wording to say blue. Again, I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. And uh, again, I'll go to the more, down to the right. And if I go to the action tab here on this one, I'll choose the same action, push button, except for I'll drag the blue guy out here like so. That does the blue tag. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one more of the green one here, like this, right click, same size as this guy. I'll go to properties. This one's the green, so I'll change there. And maybe once again, I'll make the font a little bigger. More tab here, go to the action, choose push button, and I'll drag the green out here like this, and hit okay. All right, now there's my three icons that are on the screen. Uh, three buttons that I'll push to manually control these, but there's one thing you gotta change that's not in the documentation yet, and I made note to Redline to fix this, but in order for you to control these icons from the screen, you have to change the properties of the overall HMI. So to do that, over here on the right-hand side, we're, or left-hand side, we're gonna click on the word pages on top here. So click on pages, and we're gonna go to the icons tab here. Notice there's actually a tab called icons. Go to the icons tab, and currently they're set up a system. What that means is that uh, if, for instance, there was an alarm tag that went high, the system, the operating system would take over and blink that light and so forth. Well, instead of that, I want me to be able to user configure these. So hit the pole down here and choose user configure. And that should allow me to use the set icon LED like I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this to the screen. So there I've downloaded it. I've got the web page up and running here. So here's the web page up and running. Now, if I push on this button right here, now you can't see it on the screen, but this LED is actually going on. I'm showing the web page here. And I apologize, I don't have a camera to show the video, but it's actually going on and off. If I hit the blue one, it's going on and off on the actual graphite HMI in front of me. And of course the green one, I can turn it on and off as well. So that's just a quick video, folks, of how to use the set icon LED function to manually control these. Biggest challenge is uh, the documentation does not list to go to the word pages over here and go to the icons LED or icons tab and make sure you set all these as user configured. And then from that point on, you should be able to use those and your functions. Uh, so hopefully uh, that answers any questions on how to use the set icon LED. Hey, thanks a lot, great uh, folks. Have a great day. See you later.